This next recipe is one of my favorite breakfast recipes. It's also great for meal prep and it's packed full of protein. Made with spinach, feta, eggs, and a little bit of milk, you are going to love this. It's also in our cookbook, Air Fryer All Day, which you can also find at amazon.com, but you can pick it up at Barnes and Noble and other bookstores online as well. So today, this recipe that you can find if you have the book, it's gonna be on page 12. If you don't have the book, we're actually gonna leave the recipe in the description below. So make sure you follow along and let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need eggs, milk, spinach, feta, and grape or cherry tomatoes. Once you've added your eggs to a mixing bowl, add the milk and carefully whisk everything together. Now it's time for the mix-ins. Add in the chopped spinach, the chopped tomatoes, and the feta cheese. Once everything's been added, go ahead and whisk together. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, or in my case, I like to use melted butter. This will make sure that the egg bites don't stick to the silicone cups. Divide the egg mixture between eight silicone muffin cups. They should be about two thirds full, leaving room for them to rise while cooking. Use any leftover egg mixture to even out the silicone cups. Air fry the egg bites at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for two minutes. Open the basket and gently stir the egg mixture with a fork to redistribute the ingredients. Continue cooking for another six to eight minutes until the eggs are cooked through and fluffy. This is a great meal prep recipe for breakfast throughout the week. Grab some snack size plastic baggies and store them in the refrigerator for up to four days. So good. Make sure to subscribe to Air Frying Foodie so you can follow along for more easy air fryer recipes. Hey everyone, it's Becky with Air Frying Foodie. And Jennifer and I are all about keeping things easy and simple. So I'm going to show you how to make a really easy meal prep um, recipe in the air fryer straight out of our cookbook, by the way. Um, it's spicy beef stir fry, but I'm going to show you a couple of tricks so that it's less um, prepping <laughs> the food. And that way you can go straight to meal prepping, getting it done, getting it cooked, and having food done for at least a couple of days. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so the first part of this recipe starts with 
pound of flank steak cut into strips. You can also use chicken if you want some variety. So if you want to double batch make this, you can um, cook it once with chicken and then once with beef. But the nice thing about the stores these days is that they're making this already cut into a stir fry beef. So that saved me a little bit of time um, and it's pretty much the same price. So I'm gonna just put that into a bowl and then we're going to add all of the stuff that goes with it. It is a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of soy sauce, we're gonna add a tablespoon of sesame oil, a teaspoon of fresh ginger or ground ginger. I keep ground ginger on hand all the time. Fresh ginger, sometimes you just, I don't have it. Um, a teaspoon of um, chili powder. And if you like it a little extra spicy, another teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. And that's it. We're going to toss this all together in the bowl and then we're going to cover it and let it sit for about an hour or so and just let it marinate. And um, again, you don't have to, but the more flavor, the longer that you let it sit, the more flavor that it's going to have. So we're going to just let this sit for a couple of hours. Okay. And I did forget to mention that if you can't find the steak already cut, uh, if you buy a pound of flank steak, just cut it into thin one inch strips and that's all you need. Or the chicken, again, cut it. You can cut it into pieces or strips, however you like your stir fry. Um, it makes it really easy to separate it and divide it into meals for the week when it's cut um, in smaller pieces. So normally this recipe calls for a um, red bell pepper cut into slices, a yellow bell pepper cut into slices, and a cup of fresh snow peas. But we're gonna skip that and we're gonna use a bag of stir fry vegetables that are frozen. This way you don't have to um, spend the time cutting and chopping up veggies and it's all right here. So I'm gonna just add that to the meat and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna just toss this all together. It has all of the veggies in there that you're gonna want. Um, to mix in for a stir fry, so it's perfect. And now all you need to do is toss this into your air fryer basket. And again, you can let this marinate in a bowl covered or you can put it in a Ziploc bag. And you can make it ahead of time. So uh, you can let it marinate one night and then cook it the next night and you've got your meal prep like do it on a Saturday, cook it on Sunday, and you've got your meal done for the week. All right, we're gonna go ahead and air fry this at 380 degrees for about eight minutes to make sure that the meat is cooked and we're gonna toss it about halfway through air frying time. Let's see, ooh, let's see how that looks. Beautiful. Okay, so now you have a meat and veggie for your meal and it really took less than 10 minutes um, other than the marinating part, which again, you don't have to marinate it. You can just toss it, but it just adds a little bit more flavor. So if you let it marinate for a couple hours, great. If you don't have time, you don't have to worry about that. But I will tell you, so I like to serve this with rice. I found these little containers on Amazon. They were like $10 for 12 and they come with lids and they're microwave safe, um, dishwasher safe, and they're great. So, and they even are labeled one cup, one cup, two cups. So, and then to keep it easy with rice, I use a packet like this or pre-made rice. This is really easy. This takes like 10, 12 minutes in the microwave and then you've got a uh, four to six servings of rice because I divide it up. I've already made the rice and divided it up. And now I'm gonna divide this up, but I'm gonna let it cool first because you can still see the smoke coming off of it. But now I'm gonna have about six meals ready to go for the week for my husband and I. So that's three days taken care of. All right, so meal prep made easy, right? And um, the only fruit I had on hand, because you need something there. So I'm just going to add some grapes. You can add orange slices, um, some cheese, nuts, whatever you want to add for your filler. 
but um, four servings in about 15 minutes and you are done for the week. So you don't have to spend all day meal prepping. Good to go. Hey, I'm Jennifer with Air Frying Foodie and today I am gonna share with you how to meal prep with chicken. So this is super easy. It's one of my favorite things to do. Perfect for meal prep on a Sunday night if you want some easy, healthy meals during the week. Just grab some chicken tenders that are already cut up for you. You can also use chicken breast if you want to. Um, just make sure that you slice those up. And then it's super easy. You can really turn these into anything that you want to. Today we're gonna make a chicken salad and we're also going to do just these chicken strips with rice. You can also shred up the chicken and make tacos. There's so many different things, different flavors that you can use, but it's one of the best ways to use your air fryer to help you meal prep. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take these chicken breasts and go ahead and add them to this dish. Then I'm going to pour in some olive oil. Then I'm gonna add in some of my favorite seasonings. And I'm just gonna mix these up. So you can see now I have these chicken tenders completely covered with oil and my favorite seasonings. And now we can go ahead and place them in the air fryer. So I've preheated my air fryer to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. I did that for about four minutes. And now we're gonna make these in the air fryer for 400 degrees Fahrenheit, five minutes on one side, then we're gonna turn them over in five minutes on the other, and then we're gonna be done. So let's get started. Place the chicken tenders into the basket of the air fryer. Make sure that you move the chicken tenders around so that they have space in between each tender so that they can fry up evenly. While your chicken tenders are cooking, it's a great time to go ahead and get whatever size that you're planning on serving with them prepared so that you can have everything put together. I love to use my little glass bowls with lids. So I've already prepared these ahead of time just so that I know that they're gonna be ready for me. So I've added some of my favorite cilantro lime rice into one. And then I've added my greens for my salad in another one. These are perfect little glass containers. You can place them in the refrigerator. You can put them back in the oven. You can pop them in the microwave. They're super easy, versatile, super easy to clean. I also love that they don't hold on to any flavors or stains from any foods like anything that's tomato based. So glass dishes are like some of my favorite, plus they're reusable, so saving the environment there. We're now about halfway done through the cooking process, so we're gonna go ahead and flip these over. So our timer just went off, which means these are now done. So let's take a look at them. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping one of my dishes and let's cut into these and just see how juicy and tender it really is. So good. Meal prepping with the air fryer is super easy. You now have chicken salad for the week if you want to. Just add your favorite dressing, chicken and rice, and you can add any kind of seasonings or your favorite dressing onto this as well. There are so many different options that you can make. Just like I was saying before, you can do tacos, 
um, shred it up and do sliders. There's tons of different things that you can do with this. Meal prepping with these chicken tenders is so easy. So make sure you grab some at the store and meal prep this weekend and go ahead and save yourself some time by prepping your meals ahead during the week using your air fryer. Thanks for watching and we will be sure to show you more ways to make meal prepping with the air fryer easy.